How about this? Caleb killed my mother. Were there any charges filed? No. But there were rumors about how the explosion wasn't an accident. Just some kind of cover-up. Great. Four food groups as far as I'm concerned. Colby! <laughs> hey! Hi! Hi, hi, hi. Don't let me interrupt anything. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm surviving. I didn't know you were here with her. Yeah, your mom was working way too hard to get to this trial. Well, I know how my mother works all too well. See you later. I'll call you later, okay? No, wait. Don't go. Stop her. What? It's not going to do any good. You know you want her back in your life, so... Yes, well, she has to want it to. Okay, so let's go uh, crucify some witnesses. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Dad. How are you? Okay, just... Trying to eat something, but shockingly, uh, I'm not so hungry. Turkey sandwich? No, thanks, I'm good. All right, then. Let's get this party started. Hang on a second. Did you sleep at all last night? Some. Okay, more like none. So why didn't you call me? We could have watched a movie together. Green Mile, Shawshank. Cry Freedom. Look, I know you're scared, but you don't have to have your game face on all the time. Oh, thank God, because it's getting exhausting. <laughs> you're not alone. You do know that, right? I know. Okay, I surrender, because this is, this is good. It's really good. There may be a mess in the kitchen, but slapping meat between two slices of bread? <laughs> Genius. Well, mm. it is. It's very good. Oh, mm. wait till later. Just leave it. We'll, we'll clean up after we get back from the courthouse. After, after we get back? Well, yeah. I thought if it's okay, I would go with you today. Yeah, I mean, of course it's okay. I just thought maybe you'd be busy with stuff, with fusion, or... Well, nothing's more important than this. And I want to show my support for you and for Greenlee. That means a lot. Thank you. Good. Then it's all settled. Just give you fair warning, I'm not really sure what to expect. I don't know who lies is calling to the stand for as a witness, you know, so it could be really boring. I don't know. Well, I'll take my chances. Hello? This is she? I, I understand. I'll be there. I'm not going to be bored. It's the court clerk. Prosecution's first witness. so sad. <laughs> Just hanging out. Okay. 
table, do you mind if I join you? Sure, whatever. Thank you. Asher, when you dated a girl, did you get along with her moms? What? Never mind. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Do you want to talk about it? Not really. Okay. All right, so should I get the cheese fries or should I get the Cobb salad? Um, oh God, who am I kidding? Cheese fries, for sure. Have you ever wanted something so bad? Like, really wanted it? Like it's all you've ever thought about for years? This isn't about the fries, is it? Have you? Um, I don't know, maybe. And the weirdest part is, just when you get there, almost get there, it's just not what you thought it'd be like, at all. In a good way or a bad way? Every way. What is that? That is called water. It makes up about 70% of the human body. <clears throat> that was a question on my GED. That's fascinating, really, but I was hoping for something with a little bit more oomph. Oomph won't stop you from passing out. Do I have to remind you that you were in the hospital this morning? And do morning? I have to remind you to keep your voice down? Nobody can know about that. Well, then, you better drink up. I better drink up or what? Or I'll show everyone the pictures I snapped of you in your hospital gown. We're not ready to joke about that yet, are mm. we? Mm. So what's with the shortened session? Does it mean something? No, it just means that the judge had a scheduling conflict, that's all. Mm. Too bad you couldn't just cancel it all together. Sweetheart, you do not want this to drag on any longer than it has to, believe me. Excuse me, just a second. Hey. Hey. About yesterday, um, you and me out here, that kiss... Um, hey, guys. Wow! <laughs> My own cheering section. Yeah. Did you get any uh, sleep last night? Do I look that bad? No. If someone on trial for murder, you look pretty darn good. Thank you. I think I'm fine. You didn't have to come. Actually, I did. Uh, I'm Liza's first witness today. And you do know what her focus is going to be. What I overheard Greenlee saying about wanting to kill David. Right. Madison, it's perfectly normal to feel just a little bit nervous. I'm glad to hear I'm normal. Yeah. But since you know the line of questioning, you're one step ahead of the game. Huh? That's right. Don't let Liza rally you, okay? No, I want to help Greenlee. Don't worry about that. All I want you to do when you sit down in that stand in there is take a deep breath and tell the truth. All right. Miss Colby, you're up. Okay, so the prosecution calls Madison North. Hi. Hi. I'm just here to pick up some more of AJ's things. I was hoping that you'd let me get them myself and not make me go through the court. JR? Yeah. Of course, anything for AJ. What is that? Just, uh, I just found this in the drawer. I, I bought it months ago, before everything. It's for you. Me? Happy anniversary. It's hard to believe that it's already been a year, isn't it? Yeah, I can't decide if it was the longest or the shortest. So much has happened. Good and bad. A lot more bad. You should keep that. That's yours. No, I don't want it, JR. I, I don't want any more ties, any, any more memories. Thank you, but... I understand. Okay, well, I guess I'll go get AJ's stuff then. I can help if you want. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that, that 
That would be great. It's kind of a long list. How did we get here? I don't know. What are you doing? I am sorry. I didn't know anyone else was home. I, I'm just collecting the last of my things. Oh, I'll leave you two. No, Marissa, don't. No, I came here for AJ, not for you. No, Annie doesn't live here anymore. Really? Yeah. She was in no condition to drive. She didn't even sleep in the house. Yeah, it looks like it was a rough one. Were you celebrating Scott's incarceration? No, that's not what happened. You know, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. The beauty of moving out of this house is I don't have to deal with any of this anymore, and hopefully neither will AJ. Forget I was even here. Yeah, I wish. <sighs> she stayed in the gatehouse. <laughs> so? I'm serious, Marissa. She's not supposed to be so? here. So you weren't supposed to sleep with her either. Nothing you say means anything, JR. Stop it. Don't make this about Annie anymore. She's no longer in my life. But she, she has everything to do with your life, JR. She's the reason for us falling apart, for Scott going to prison, for the precious company about to self-destruct. Annie is the reason for all of it. And since this house isn't safe with her anywhere near it, she's the reason that you're going to lose your son. Why do I feel like you want to tell me something? I'm just in a weird mood. <laughs> Forget it. Well, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm a decent listener. Thanks, Not that I would take I'm my good. own advice considering my life is a disaster zone right now. Except for Damon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Except for Damon. So, what's your deal? Tell us about your disaster zone. Are you still in level orange? Or, don't tell me. No, no, no. No, we are hovering around level hot pink. Yeah. But I, I thought about what you said about the drama in my family rising above it. And? And I don't really know what that means at this point. Like, whose side am I supposed to be on? I mean, I, I love my brother and I want to support him no so matter do what. do it. But I can't do it if the only thing he wants is revenge. A little revenge is sometimes a good thing. Sometimes you got good reason. Uh-uh, no. It just seems like a waste to me. If you ask me, revenge has its perks. Sometimes when everything goes to hell, it's the only thing that can just keep you going. Ms. North, do you recall me visiting you at Mr. Labry's apartment last month? I do. So then you remember telling me that you heard Mrs. Hayward say that she wanted to kill her husband. Yes, but... Just answer the question, yes or no, please. Yes. And where were you when you heard her say this? Nowhere. I'm sorry? I wasn't anywhere when I heard it because I didn't hear it. When I told you that Greenlee said that, I was lying. We discussed that, remember? We did, didn't we? And why would you do that, Ms. North Lie? Because I was jealous. Uh, ju just to clarify for the jury, will you please uh, describe your relationship with Mr. Lavery? Um, we're dating. Is he your boyfriend? I guess you could say that, yes. Do you love him? Objection, relevance. Withdrawn. So, when you say you were jealous, you mm. were jealous of Ryan and Greenlee, correct? Yes. Hmm. How come? It's no secret that Ryan and Greenlee have history. History? Well, that is really putting it mildly, isn't it? Ryan and Greenlee were married at one point, and they were just about to get married again prior to uh, Mrs. Hayward's accident. Isn't that true? Yes. Yes. So even though he was your boyfriend, you were afraid that romantic feelings still existed between Greenlee and Ryan. Ms. North, isn't that correct? I, I, I guess so. You guess so? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, that really brings up a very interesting point. I think we need to talk further about Greenlee and Ryan's relationship. <laughs>